All right, guys, Name is here bringing you a brand new video, and we're going to talk a little bit about this team that was just formed that I think is a little bit overpowered. Now, Atlanta Phase has announced their new roster, and boy, is it a good team. I mean, it's hard to look at this team on paper and not say that they'll be the best squad uh, during the year. Uh, they definitely have the most talent of any of the teams formed. They're the most balanced, and it's just scary as hell seeing these names on this roster. All right, so yesterday, FaZe tweeted out that RCDs has now joined the team. The rumor was true. They tweeted, Destiny has arrived in 4v4, and it's teaming up with the Tiny Terrors just in time for Cold War. Welcome to Atlanta FaZe, RCDs, the final boss. And indeed, he is the final boss. RCDs is phenomenal. Let's take a little bit of a look at the video that they put out. It got 383,000 views, so fantastic post by them, and clearly was just huge news in the, in the Call of Duty scene. Like I got it, I just go You are not about it and I know I ain't listen to him doubt it, I just go The older United roster goes at each other and RCTs wins it! All right, so pretty sick uh, announcement video, just a little montage. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, and uh, they had me in the first half, I'm not going to lie, but once that dude started rapping, they lost me a little bit. But uh, as you can see, RC is on the squad. He will be teaming alongside Simp, Abizi, and Celium. and what a team this is. Let's dive a little deeper into it. Now, this team getting Arcides is big news. If you think about FaZe last year, they had one of the best squads of the year. They won multiple tournaments, and, you know, they never missed the semifinals. So they're a fantastic squad. Uh, they ended up getting second a few times. Um, and the one problem that they had the entire season was it felt like they had no leader. When they were having issues, they weren't able to figure it out in practice. Uh, and they just couldn't get over that hump to be that dominant squad, that dynasty squad, so to speak. And that is why I think they're going with Arcides uh, on this team. It's a no-brainer that Arcides is one of the best main ARs in the game, and it's been a struggle for him on his past few teams to solidify himself in that role as that main AR. If you think about his last couple of teams, I mean, he had Formal, who's a fantastic main AR, and his team prior to that, he had Clayster, who's a fantastic main AR. So Arcides has realistically been training with extra weight on. He's not been able to run his primary role to the best of his ability because he's had to flip-flop back and forth over the last few years. And on all of these teams, he still won championships, which is terrifying for the competition. Now think about this phase team. He has Celium, Simp, and Abizi alongside him. He can finally rest easy and be that main AR and just master his craft as a main AR role. Imagine RCDs the entire year only has to master being that main AR. He is going to be a phenomenal standout player. On top of all that, in 4v4, that's one less player that he has to rely on, and that's one less player that he has to coach. RCDs has been known as that player who sort of is the mediator. He can fix the problems on the fly, and he's a great in-game leader. Now, with players like Simp, Abizi, and Celium, he can rally these guys together because he's best friends with them outside of the game, and in-game, he's a phenomenal teammate. So this made a lot of sense on all fronts. I think this also makes Selium a lot more comfortable to be that flex player because he's a fantastic AR in his own right, but he also likes to pull out that sub from time to time. So team dynamic and the team makeup of this squad is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you're going to make a prototype perfect Call of Duty team, this would be it. They have the Search and Destroy experience, they have the championships under their belt, and they have the teamwork in and out of the game. So this team is absolutely OP and should be extremely dominant. Now you can see here some of the pro players are tweeting about it and one example is Octane. He basically said, who allowed this? I mean, it's been compared to some of the superstars in sports going to some overpowered teams. I saw this post on Reddit uh, where Kevin Durant joins the Warriors after he loses to them and you know, I decided to tweet it out. Uh, it's extremely funny because it's really like the same thing. It's like he lost a phase and then he went and to go team with them and now they're like looking insane. So uh, it's kind of similar to that and this team is just going to be nasty. I mean, they, they check every box. In the end, it's still pretty insane to me that Chicago is just able to let RCDs go to phase one of their toughest competitions, but they must be very confident in their team. Uh, the one thing with this phase roster that could be a little bit of a struggle is if the game is slowed down a lot. Uh, that's the only way I see them you know, being nerfed a little bit or other teams really competing with them uh, throughout the course of the year as if the meta is extremely slow in Cold War, and that's yet to be known. So we'll see when the game comes out, but right now they get an A++++. They should be the best team going into the new game, and in my opinion, 
FaZe has done the best job of building their team going forward. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and turn that notification bell on. Currently, I'm not at home. I'm in San Diego, but I scheduled this to go up while I was gone. So if you guys could show me some love while I'm on vacation, when I get back, I'll have way more videos to come. Until next time, guys. Peace.